We are your local election headquarters, and we want to let you know the midterm elections, of course, in the rearview mirror. Tonight, we're looking ahead to next year. November 7, 2023, will be a busy day in Knoxville for the city's general election. It's weird to say, but it'll be here before you know it, yeah, right? Yeah. Several positions are expected on the ballot, including four city council seats and possibly the city's top role, mayor, which will depend on primary results. Yeah, well, tonight, Mayor India Kincannon officially launched a re-election campaign. Six Senior Sides' Wes Cooper was there, joins us now live in the studio. And Wes, the mayor says she's ready to serve another four years. That's exactly right, Don and Bo. Just about 80 days into her first term as mayor, the pandemic hit. But despite many obstacles, Mayor Kincannon tells me she is proud of what's been achieved and is eager to continue her service. Soon, you'll start seeing signs like this pop up around Knoxville. India Kincannon's hunt for a second term as mayor is just beginning. I love being mayor of Knoxville. I love our city, and we have so many good things happening, and I want to continue to work hard for the people of this city. From equipping police officers with body cameras to building thousands of homes to curb Knoxville's housing shortage, Kincannon says she has accomplished a lot during her first term. I'm really proud that I represent all the people of this city, Republican, Democrat, Democratic and the vast majority of the people who don't vote. The kinds of stuff that we do in the city, public service, essential services, responding to 911 calls, repairing and maintaining our streets and sidewalks. These are not partisan issues. These are just people issues. This is just called good governance. This is why local government exists. If re-elected, Kincannon plans to continue making progress on housing options, finish the new baseball stadium, and listen to voters' concerns. The number one concern of many Knox Villians is public safety. If you don't feel safe, nothing else really matters. So I'm really proud of the progress I've made in my first term. We are working on street violence interruption and other ways to interrupt violence in people to stop those cycles of violence. According to the Election Commission, Kincannon is currently running for mayor unopposed, and it can be very difficult to unseat an incumbent, especially in a city election. You've got a, a fewer number of people you need to influence in order to, to do what you want to do. And, and people typically vote in large numbers when they're angry about something a politician has done or they're afraid of something a politician might do. Now, those flags haven't really been raised. And if uh, American Cannon doesn't have an opponent, somebody, I mean, it takes a lot of money and extraordinary effort to try to unseat an incumbent. That was George Corda. The mayor adds she believes she has proven she has been an effective leader and takes care of Knoxvillians the best way the city can.